Hi folks, we were just here with the immediate reaction to the Europa Conference League first qualifying round draw. I'm delighted to say I'm joined by the man at the moment, Louis Ansley. <laughs> this is tied in nicely, Louis, drawn, drawn against uh, Bruno's Magpies from Gibraltar. Mm. We'll obviously talk about the game with the Republic of Ireland last night, but what's what's your initial reaction to the draw? Are you looking forward to going, going home? Yeah, I think all the boys obviously in there, we've just watched the draw together, I think we're all buzzing. Um, all excited for it. Whoever we got, we would have been obviously excited for. But yeah, obviously being a Gibraltarian team, uh, be a little bit more special as well. Playing against a few of the boys from who I've just been on a camp with. Yeah, how many? How many of the national team would be, be on the, the Magpies? Yeah, there'll be, be there'll be a few. There'll be five or six. I think I'm not sure on the exact number, but yeah, there's a fair few to be fair. Um, so yeah, obviously I know a bit of inside info about them. So be telling the gaffer, etc. Yeah. Um, but yeah, excited for it, definitely. What sort of standard are we looking at from... Yeah, they'll from be a good team, obviously. They have got players from Spain, from Gibraltar, from England. So they've got a variety of uh, nationalities in their team. So, yeah, by no means is it going to be an easy game for us. Um, but, you know, we'll prep it like any other game to go out and win. They beat Crusaders last year mm. in the first leg and then the, the, the Crusaders overturned it in the second. Yeah. So I suppose that's, a, that's something we can look at closely. Obviously, it's not far from home. Definitely no, like you said there, they, they actually won the first leg, I think it was, I might have been 2 I'm not sure if it was 2-0, but yeah, they're a good side obviously, so you know, we're going to respect them and also uh, prep and be ready for that game because it's not going to be an easy game by any imagination. The venue, the, obviously the national team you were playing mm. in Portugal on, on Friday night because the, the, the stadium's been redeveloped, What's we, we obviously try and get confirmation today, but it looks like the clubs can play in Gibraltar, is mm. that, that what you've heard? Yeah, I think the 21s, Gibraltar 21s play there this right, week, okay. which means obviously the pitch is playable. So I suppose that, yeah, first round will probably be in Gibraltar, I'm guessing. I'm not sure, as you said, we'll have to get confirmation. But yeah, if it is in Gibraltar, obviously I know a little bit about the ground and etc. So again, it's something I can update um, the staff and players about uh, how it will be, etc. So again, excited for it. Obviously, yeah, going back to somewhere where I'm quite, I'm there quite often. So, uh, but no, it'd be good. Good. <laughs> With all due respect to the the likes of Kosovo and Albania and the Faroes and even Iceland. I think the, the place in Iceland was four and a half, five five hours on a bus from mm. Reykjavik. Our supporters, it's a it's a very accessible sort of place to get to Gibraltar. What what can the fans expect if they go over there for a couple of days? Definitely, yes. Yeah, yeah, it's really easy. Obviously, you can get a flight to Gibraltar direct or you can go to Malaga, which is yeah. only 30, 40 minutes away. So, yeah, as you said, it's accessible. Gibraltar is a nice place, yeah, yeah, for a couple of days. So, definitely, hopefully, we do get some fans going over there and hopefully we actually outweigh Bruno Magpies fans, which I think yeah. is definitely most possible. Yeah, as I said to you at the start, very much a man in demand. It's it's funny that we've drawn a team from Gibraltar mm. just twenty four hours after you've yeah. you've played. You the first the first player, first League of Ireland player to ever play against the Republic yeah. of Ireland. It's a, a good start. It's a nice little start. How, how are you? Mm. Your own performance, first and foremost. How did you? How did you feel you going on? Yeah, obviously it was a tough night. Obviously the second half, um, disappointed with the second half, but I thought obviously we're developing every game we play. But on a personal level, obviously, after being only back for seven, eight weeks, yeah. probably less, really, uh, to get through another 90 minutes, you know, yeah, it was good. I was happy with that. Um, but obviously, it's credit to, like, Danny, the coaching staff, everyone here for getting me ready for those games. So, obviously, I'm really grateful for everything Danny and the staff have done as well. So, really, really happy to get the 90 minutes, but obviously disappointed the majority with the second half. But, again, we're developing, so the positives are we're getting better. But, yeah, it was obviously a tough night. What were you thinking at halftime? Getting in nil nil, there was a bit of a, a bit of a, mm. you know, after after our result on on Friday night, you could, there was a bit of tension in the stadium. Yeah, definitely, you could feel it. Yeah, you could feel it. I said, and obviously in the change room, I was saying that first fifteen minutes, keep the door shut, and they'll yeah. they'll go um, because you could feel it, like you said, the, the tension, bit of pressure building. Um, first off, we didn't. I didn't actually feel too. I don't know what the word is. Like I didn't feel in too much pressure. Mm. To be honest, I felt like it was quite easy. Obviously, we're in a low deep block, but. Yeah, it felt quite easy to be fair, but then second half they've made a couple of changes. I think they changed formation to a four at the back and we conceded the goal. I'm not sure, I mean, it was 50 early on, which obviously put a bit of a downer on it. And then, yeah, so the, definitely the change of formation and the substitutes definitely helped them. One stage of senior rampage and into our box in the second half, I think it was, it was a 1 0 down. Yeah. I was thinking of his scores here. Yeah, I know. I should have pulled the trigger. I <laughs> don't know why I didn't. Should have pulled it. Looking back on it, I don't know why. I think I back healed it actually, which ain't me either. I should have just absolutely let one fly. You but got a nosebleed, did you? Yeah. Get in there? yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you stopped James McLean from scoring on his 100 cap, mm. which, you know, that was a, 
I'm sure people would think you ruined ruined the night, but <laughs> from your own yeah. point of view, it was a brilliant block. Yeah, yeah, no, obviously, um, yeah, just read it well. Um, yeah, I don't feel sorry for him, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I didn't actually know it was him until after. Yeah, but yeah, it made it that bit sweeter. Um, but no, yeah, good block to be fair. What 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 way is it? Obviously, it was another three 0 that you have lost all each game three 0 What what way do you look at the rest of the games? Now? Is it is it all about development and yeah. as you say, just getting experience against like on Friday night you're playing against the, you know, France? Yeah, no, like you like you said there, that's exactly it. I think we're a we're a developing group of players where we've only been in UEFA for ten years. Yeah. So if you look at from A to now, where we've gone, where we've come from from the beginning of when we first went into UEFA, we've taken massive strides. We've won a group. D in Nations League which we shouldn't be winning after being in UEFA for 10 years we're competing with the likes of Ireland France you know obviously France it was a difficult game but you know it's no walk in the park for them yeah. Ireland we go like first half nil nil I think there's definitely positives every game we play in and we always look in and striving towards the next games to be better than the last games which the majority of the time we are doing so it's definitely something that like you said there we're, we're a developing nation at the moment Is it tough is it tough going on Sounds sounds weird. Like, is it tough being called up to play France? But you know you're going to be going. And it's mm. going to be a tough, yeah. real tough ninety minutes. It, mm. How do you how do you get your head around that? There's like as you say, there's is there developing, but surely there's games you're thinking this this going this could be a long long night here. Yeah, yeah. I think we just always like we've always been installed with like not really to think about mm. not to think about that to have like faith in what we're doing is the correct way. We obviously prep. We prep really well. Yeah. Every time, every game we have, we prep really well. So we are obviously, like you said, we're developing and we're playing these top nations, top, I mean, former World Cup winners. Um, but for us, like you said there, it's, uh, we were thinking about us, we're developing each game. And I mean, five years ago, if you'd said we would have lost to France 3-0 at home, away to Holland 3-0, mm -hmm. you know, someone would have said no chance. Yeah, yeah. Which is obviously... Um, testament to the coaching staff and the young group of players because we've got players who are both our centre midfielders it was their second international start against mm -hmm. Ireland which is again credit to them to me to be going out and playing Ireland in your first international start is it's unheard of really yeah. so yeah like you said that everything we do is just about developing now and I think one day in the future we will be a nation that is well respected for sure How many caps do you have now? 37 now Oh, that's, that's good going for somebody your age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think my, my aim's got to be at least one, two, five. Yeah, one fifty. That's my aim, which sounds mental. I wouldn't have said that five years ago either. Especially, yeah, I wasn't capped five years ago. But yeah, yeah, I'm privileged to be in a position. Good going. There was a pictures obviously up after the game of mm. Danny. Mm. You mentioned Danny Miller there coming over and shaking your hand. He had a jersey in his hand. Who's mm. you going to reveal whose jersey it was? Or yeah, it was Nathan Collins. So Very good. Uh, yeah, matching centre half, obviously, good player. Did you ask him for that? Was that a bit? No, nah, no, nah, I think obviously Danny must have. Yeah, I don't know if he pre planned that. Actually. Right, okay. But yeah, led from Danny as well. Like I said, a lot of um, <laughs> credit's got to go to Danny the way he handled everything because yeah. uh, the difficult times he handled that really well, to be fair. So yeah. yeah, he's a top guy and top physio. So, and obviously, yeah, nice to get a little Nathan Collins jersey. What about Francie, you Danny? Know? I got uh, another centre half. I got uh, Upa Makana. Bayern Munich, not, not bad. bad. Not, not bad. bad. Not bad. Not yeah. bad collection. Yeah. Growing up. Any other notable jerseys in the collection there? The lit another centre back. I'll just nice. try and get uh, similar positions. Yeah. De Jong from Holland as well. So yeah, a few. Just coolly throwing them names out there. Ah. You like that? De Jong. De ah. You know. So I'm not. Bad do you wait till after the game? You're not one of these. No, 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 no. During no, the no. game or the half time, no. no. I got to say, the boys against France, they were sharp after the game. Yeah. I was switched off, and I looked around the corner, and everyone's nicking jerseys. I thought, ah. Thought that's me, but then I uh, spoke to Uthman McConnell after, and he was a nice fella. That was good going because when we spoke in here before the break, you were saying you you just at that stage you didn't know officially whether you're in the squad. Mm. You just wanted to keep playing the come on, yeah. get a half an hour against France, and then back it up last night with ninety. From all point of view, it's brilliant that you're, you're going into the derby game now on Friday with with that under the belt. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, like we said, like seven eight weeks ago, if you told me I would have played three nineties and a thirty, mm. I probably would have said no chance to be honest. Um, from where I was at obviously not walking 12 weeks ago um, yeah we've come a long way but obviously it's yeah testament to obviously everyone here like I said before and obviously I've worked hard as well to be fair um, 
So yeah, I think I've deserved it, but I've just got to continue it now because Friday's a massive game for us. It's a you look at the games coming up: Drada, Pats, Rovers, Bulls, and then into Europe. It's again we spoke here. It's 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 a great time of the year, isn't it? It's a, it's yeah. there's a, you can feel it today. There's a buzz around the place now. Mm. It's as a club we missed this last year. It was the first time we went in Europe since twenty twenty thirteen. Like you can feel the buzz around the place today. Oh, definitely, especially with the draw. Like, yeah. We've all been in there watching it. Um, yeah, definitely. I think we've got loads of games coming up now, so everyone's got to be ready. Um, starting on Friday, massive game, massive game, three points, obviously, Derby. Yeah, nothing less than three points. Good stuff, Louis. Good right. to have you. Nice one. Thanks again. Thank you very much. Okay, cheers. Mm-hmm.